Okay, so a little surprise for you guys. We're actually going to go to the Humane Society. We just want to see the pets. If, if we're being honest, we really just want to see the pets. I want to see the cats, and she really wants to see the dogs. We're thinking about maybe possibly in the future getting a little kitten. We don't really know. It's not anything in the possible future, but yes, that's what we're thinking of. So we kind of just want to be like shopping around. That sounds bad because it's pet, but like we just want to like just yeah, just look around. Just to see. Just to see like it, and really like like actually make up our minds if we want to get um, another one if our cats would even be okay with that you know all that stuff so i'll definitely show you guys so we are here at the oregon human society we're gonna come in you guys, I get so happy to see them, but I get so sad because I want to take them home and look at him. Yes, he literally ran up to us. Come here, come here. Oh my goodness, let me put you. Yes, yes, good boy, you're so smart. Ew, oh the little teeth. All oh, the kisses, 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 all oh, the kisses. Oh, kisses. Oh, kisses. <laughs> I leave there every single time just so sad because I don't know. I just leave there so sad. I get so emotional over the whole thing because it's just there's just mean people out there. There's mean people that will just surrender their pet just because they're bored of them. They're done with them. And they're just like, do not get pets. Do not get pets if you're not ready to take care of them for years mm -hmm. to come. Years. They're an investment. They're 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 a whole living They're like, like kids. They're yes, kids. They're kids. I I genuinely treat my cats as if they're kids to me like i i have to i think of my cats like oh no like i can't stay out this long because salem has to eat like i need to fill his water bowl like my cats like they're so important to me like i genuinely like they're part of my family they're our family we make up a family and it's just crazy because some people like they really don't think that way no. and and it you people that think like that you shouldn't be able to have let me also give you guys a backstory of like why we're even looking into getting a cat the whole process the whole shebang genuinely honestly you guys are the first people to know this like me and celeste like we have not told anyone nobody so really the true ass fucking friends and family that watch this video they'll know truly what's up Realistically, me and Cell have not told this story to anyone. We've honestly kept it on the down low. And, um, yeah, so a few weeks ago, our one of our kittens died. He was actually starting to get bigger. He was a couple months old. And um, I'm not really going to share, like, why he passed away, how it happened, what, like, the whole thing. But, um... Yes, he ended up passing away, and it was honestly really hard on me and Sal, and on it, and Salem. He was looking for his brother so much, and it just hurt my heart. When Indy passed away, it was just really hard on all of us, and we honestly felt just really incomplete. One, because like we already are used to having like four beings in the house, um, and now it was just us in Salem and I just felt really bad because Salem he won obviously he bonded to his brother 
two, he's playful. He's super playful and he had no one to play with anymore. And he would look for his brother, he would cry. And so we really took a couple of days to really think about if we wanted to go ahead and get another cat. At first I was super like I don't I didn't I didn't know honestly if I wanted another cat because it just felt like it feels wrong honestly it felt wrong because I was like I don't want to feel like I'm replacing Indica and I didn't know how um Salem would react to it because like obviously he's a different cat like it's not gonna be the same and stuff and we have to reintroduce him and he's gonna be wondering where his brother was like just the whole thing and so I was really honestly like debating it but at the end of the day I just I really thought about it and I came to the conclusion that like number one I just feel better knowing that Salem has a cat another cat here for him to play with when we're gone and that is the main thing that really 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 messed me up is that like yeah he has us and like we'll always take care of him and like all that but like at the end of the day when we leave he's alone and he has nobody to take care of him or not to take care of him but he has nobody to play with he has nobody to like be with like you know and that just kind of sat with me wrong because i was like i feel like he needs a partner i just feel like he's lonely he wants to play but like he gets bored of us because like we can't play with him all the time okay yeah so um they didn't really have any kittens honestly that i felt like were right for our home so on top of that all of them being 200 and plus dollars i was just like okay like we're not gonna find our cat here um so i felt kind of bad because i did want to get one from the humane society and like you know take one and take one in and stuff but that just was not the case so the same way we got salem we decided to get another cat so online on craigslist or through facebook market whoever was giving away cats whoever needed to get rid of um their baby's babies we were gonna take them in. so these are the first pictures that i saw of benji i'll insert them right here um yes these are the first pictures that i saw of benji and honestly me and celeste we literally said the first person to have the first available cat that's gonna be our cat like it'll be meant for us like that's the first one like we'll leave it up to the universe whatever happens benji's owner at the time she was the first one to text us back and she was like he's available he's a little siamese cat he's um like two months old at the time and yeah so we ended up meeting up with the lady and she handed us Benji. 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 Oh my goodness, look at that. So what did they tell him? They told him he had a little eye infection because this eye, obviously you can see it has a little, oh, he's not making this. <laughs> he has a little bit of discharge on this eye. This eye has been good, but... But he's just been feeling a little bit uncomfortable. This is Benji. He's my little Sudanese cat. He's a little Siamese cat. Oh, he's cold. He looks grumpy. Look at his forehead. It makes him look. <laughs> makes him look mad. Look at his little pink jacket. He's too small for it. But, but yes, he has a little pink jacket. But he's so freaking cold. And he's in a. He's in his carrier. <laughs> oh my goodness. With a blanket. 
Better? What's wrong? What you want? What you want? You hungry? They're hungry, they smell their food right here. I'm gonna do the eye drops. Okay, so we have to do one in each eye of these little drops. Okay. I get my weed from California, that's that shit. I took my trip up to the north, yeah, bad ass bitch. I get my life right from the source, yeah, yeah, that's it. I got my bitches on the Georgia. Yeah, I'm gonna let that show be. I get my weed from California. Next year, we do a little oral medicine. I took my trip up to the north, yeah. I get my life right from the source, yeah. But I'm bored, yeah All I can want, all I can wish for Nights alone now we miss for Days we save as souvenirs There's no time when we want more time I give you my whole life I'm sorry Say hi everybody Say hi everyone I'm feeling so much better Feeling so much better I'm gonna go to the north, yeah. 